Straight weight oils versus multi-grade oils. What are viscosity improvers? G'day, I'm Matt from KCK Lubricants, and today we're gonna to do a video on why we need viscosity improvers in engine oil and the differences between straight weight and multi-grade oils. Essentially, our oil needs to be thin enough to pump when it's cold, but thick enough to provide protection at operating temperature. And as you would expect, and as is logical, as the oil heats up, it will want to thin, and as it cools down, it will tend to thicken. So as our engines became more complex and the demands on the lubrication increased, the chemists and the engineers needed to come up with a solution. They needed to come up with a fix that they could add to the oil to try to counteract this. And in doing so, they've come up with viscosity improvers. So if you can imagine the viscosity improver as a long skinny polymer when it's cold, does very little to affect the viscosity of the oil, flows through the system, no problem at all. But when that polymer gets hot, it begins to coil up and take up more room within the oil, therefore thickening the oil at higher temperatures. So now we've been able to counteract what was originally happening with the oil thinning as it got hot, it now thickens as it heats and the opposite as it cools down. So we can now have a true multi-grade oil that will pump effectively when it's cold, but still provide protection at operating temperature. The viscosity improvers are very useful and essential in a multi-grade oil, but they do come with their own lot of issues. Whether they be of poor quality or overused in an oil product, they can shear. So as we said before, these coil up when they're hot, but that coil or polymer can be broken under extreme conditions. So if you started with a 10W40, for instance, and if you sheared back all the polymers, you now have a 10 weight oil. So with turbocharged engines in particular, we do see it with high turbine speeds of 100,000 RPM and high housing temperatures. We get shear back on poor quality oils and the engines generally promptly blow up because the viscosity is not there to protect the engine. Also, another thing we see is overtreating. If you might see, for instance, a 5W50 um, engine oil, it's that loaded full of viscosity improvers. It's no longer an effective oil. It's really struggling to lubricate and will tend to break down very quickly um, and, and cause issues from there. We can lower the chances of this happening by producing a quality base stock. If we start off with a petroleum base stock, as the temperature lowers in that base stock, the wax within that will tend to crystallize and will continue to thicken the oil until it looks like a snow cone. If we go to a synthetic oil or a hydrocracked oil, the operating temperature is now much lower than that same petroleum oil. And if we go to a PAO oil, it'll operate, it'll pump effectively at, at any temperature you like, basically. It, it will go as low as you will need to run an engine. So by using quality base stocks and, and doing the hard work, we need very little VI improver and, and often none at all. We will meet the specifications or the, the minimum specifications with no VI, but if we add VI, we, we blow the specifications out of the water and we, we have, um, a very wide operating range that um, you would you would normally not get with poor base stocks over treated with VI. So to summarize that, straight weight oils generally have no viscosity improvers, multi-weight oils generally need viscosity improvers, and viscosity improvers help the oil thicken as the temperature rises in that oil. I hope it was helpful, I hope I, I cleared that up for you. Leave a comment below, any suggestions on future content. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, subscribe to start to date with what's going on. Thanks for watching.